Like, this is kind of like a, a revenge for me. Being as, uh, being as I feel that, Sean, you will see this. And Kevin, nothing personal against you, two of you. But I did whip your ass last year. And I'm planning to do it again this year. Now, even though the judges put you guys ahead, that's okay. You know, we saw what, everyone saw what happened. Ain't gonna be no different this year. Gonna put it down just like that. a whole bunch of weights. Just keep some blood in the muscle. If you don't have it, by now you're gonna have it again. Most important thing right now is cardio and diet. I'm trying to train my boy Rico over here for the Nationals coming up. Actually, David is a, a Cal, California champion. Middleweight California champion. So we started here today to disturb my workout. You know? Uh, so 18 days out. <clears throat> About 290 right now. My legs are kind of, my legs are flat today because I've been doing cardio for about three weeks straight, non-stop right now. And I've bumped it up to a little over two hours a day now. So the legs are, you know, that constant pounding of the treadmill on the bike. is keeping them nice and keeping them flat. But as you can see, the skin is super thin on the legs. So once I cut the cardio out, um, they'll just fill back out. Everything will, you know, tighten up all the separation will come out even even better better than, than they are now. Last year at this point, I think I was um, 18, day, 18 days out, I was about <laughs> 275. And uh, this year, 18 days out, uh, I'm at uh, 290. So it's a, it's a big difference, you know, size-wise. Condition-wise, uh, I'll be just as tight as last year. Actually, I'm tighter. I'll be tired, I'm tired in some areas this year than I actually was last year, you know, even though, because last year I started dieting at uh, 295, and this year I started at 320, so it gave me a lot more to work with. And, uh, you know, working with Chad Nichols right now, I have, I've always, now I keep my sodium extremely high at this point. I still am taking about 5,000 milligrams of sodium, and I won't cut it out. So I'll start eliminating my sodium as of this weekend. So then we'll start, the weight will start coming down. So as we drop the sodium, you know, we'll see that um, you'll lose easily a good eight pounds of fluid, you know, from like the barbecue sauce and ketchup and stuff like that. But I, cause I like to put that stuff in my food, but I just can't get it down, <laughs> you know. All right, so let's finish up delts. Another year coming to an end, it's time for the Olympia. A lot of predictions, you know, a lot of guys thinking they're gonna win, a lot of guys putting guys in places. I guess these days everybody's a swami, you know? <laughs> everybody's got a crystal ball at home. I don't got no crystal ball, except for I can see this much. When it's all said and done, there'll be a, cha a new champion. Whoever it may be, hopefully, I'll be the best man. But I'll tell you this much, it ain't gonna be no cakewalk. Whoever he is, it's gonna be bad and bruised when it's all said and done. But I'm not gonna let it go just like that. I'm not saying I'm gonna win, I'm not saying I'm gonna lose. I'm just saying I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight. Yeah, this, is, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for myself and then, all the other guys doing the Olympia. It's an honor to be there. So, just gotta wait and see what happens, huh? Right now, the training part is not so hard. It's the diet that's hard. Man, 
after dadding for 12, 10 weeks, the last three weeks is a bitch. You just want to eat anything and everything you can get your hands on. I mean, I crave cookies, man. I crave cookies. Oatmeal cookies. Just sweets. I just want sweets. Come on. <coughs> oh. Yeah. Hey, Rico, didn't someone, didn't someone say I had flat bicep? Who said that? I don't know. Who said I had flat bicep? I don't know. I, I, I just gotta check to make sure, you know? I, I don't know. I'm checking. I don't know. I'm checking. <laughs> I figured I had, to make, I, I had to make sure, you know? You know, of course I'm keeping my fingers crossed and I'd love to win it. But uh, again, like I said, uh, just being able to improve from last year to this year. And um, all the prob all the problems I had this year with a, with a double hernia operation and you know separation from my wife and so forth. Um, you know, going through all this and being able to, uh, to to surpass that and get myself in the condition that I'm at that I'm in right now. I'm you know, I'm proud of myself and we'll see what happens comes on October 10th. That's about it for me.